The Young and the Restless Spoilers Genoa City had seen its fair share of drama and turmoil, but nothing compared to the inner battles waged by Ashley Abbott. Diagnosed with dissociative identity disorder, did, Ashley's mind was a fractured landscape, housing multiple identities born from a lifetime of psychological trauma. Her siblings, Jack and Tracy, were both puzzled and heartbroken. How could someone as resilient as Ashley develop such a rare and devastating condition? The Origins of Ashley's Disorder Alan, Ashley's steadfast partner, had explained countless times that her did stemmed from the severe psychological distress she had endured. Ashley's life, marked by emotional upheavals and personal losses, had driven her to the brink of despair. She's been through more than anyone should have to endure, Alan had said, his voice filled with sorrow. Her mind created these identities as a way to cope, to survive. Despite Alan's explanations, Jack and Tracy struggled to grasp the full extent of Ashley's suffering. The concept of their sister battling multiple personalities was both foreign and frightening. Did was rare, usually manifesting in individuals who had experienced extreme and negative life events. The fact that Ashley, their pillar of strength, was now so vulnerable, left them feeling helpless and distraught. Ashley's Internal Struggle Recently, Ashley's encounters with her alternate personalities had intensified. These confrontations often took place in a sterile, white room within her mind, a space where her other identities would interrogate and torment her. Why can't you just let us take over, they would demand, their voices echoing in the stark, oppressive environment. Among these personalities, Bella was the most dominant and defiant. Bella sought control, constantly undermining Ashley's desires and asserting her own will. The power struggle left Ashley feeling trapped and powerless, unable to find a way to reclaim her own mind. Alan's Intervention Alan, deeply committed to Ashley's recovery, devised a plan to disrupt the mental prison that her personalities had constructed. He knew that in order to help Ashley regain control, he had to symbolically destroy the White Room and its oppressive influence. One evening, as Ashley lay in a deep, troubled sleep, Alan began a guided visualization exercise. Ashley, he whispered softly, holding her hand, imagine a sledgehammer in your hand. Feel its weight, its power. Now, picture the white room where they torment you. Ashley, her brow furrowed in concentration, nodded slightly. I see it, she murmured. Good, Alan continued, his voice steady and reassuring. Now, take that sledgehammer and swing it with all your might. Smash those walls, break free from their control. In her mind, Ashley lifted the heavy tool and struck the walls of the white room. With each swing, the walls cracked and crumbled, the oppressive space giving way to light and freedom. Bella's voice, once so domineering, began to fade into the background. The Aftermath When Ashley awoke, she felt a renewed sense of clarity and strength. Alan's guided exercise had provided her with a powerful metaphorical tool to fight back against her intrusive personalities. While the battle was far from over, she now had a way to combat the mental confinement she had endured for so long. Tucker's Redemption Meanwhile, Tucker McCall, who had been entangled in his own complex web of relationships, made a significant decision. He chose to end his involvement with Audra, focusing instead on helping Ashley through her recovery. His commitment to Ashley was unwavering, and he hoped that his actions would demonstrate his sincerity and earn him acceptance from her family. I know I've made mistakes, Tucker admitted to Jack and Tracy. But I'm here for Ashley now, and I'll do whatever it takes to support her. A new beginning. The journey ahead was fraught with challenges, but with Alan's unwavering support and Tucker's newfound dedication, Ashley had a strong support system. Jack and Tracy, though initially skeptical, began to see the positive changes in Ashley's condition and acknowledge Tucker's efforts. Ashley, armed with the metaphorical sledgehammer Alan had given her, continued to confront and dismantle the mental barriers within her mind. The process was slow and arduous, but she was no longer alone in her struggle. Conclusion In Genoa City, where power dynamics and personal vendettas often overshadowed genuine human connections, Ashley's battle with did revealed the strength of compassion and the importance of unwavering support. Alan's innovative approach and Tucker's redemption underscored the profound impact of love and dedication. <laughs>